All right, so we're back to work on the Datsun truck. Um, I really want to get the rear end finished up, but unfortunately I'm waiting for parts for that still. Um, these videos are going to be all like mismatched, so you're going to see a bunch of weird stuff, but uh, had some issues with that, so uh, got to get more parts. Today what we're going to work on is the engine bay again. Um, we got some stuff in here that wasn't in here about four again coming in a future video and what we're going to be working on right now is the front of the engine assembly and then we're going to be tightening up everything around here so what we got to do is we have to finish putting our rib nuts in for all of our fenders both of our fenders our cowl and uh i got some cool stuff to put on the front here so we got a ict alternator relocation kit that's going to put the alternator up here in this corner somewhere we got a LS1 water pump, which is what we're going to need to use with the provided spacers and all the good hardware and gaskets and blah, blah, blah. And uh, we got the belt. There will be an alternator for this setup tomorrow. But uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and take the grill off. We're going to take the radiator out and uh, get some of that out of the way because we're also going to go ahead and paint the front of the uh uh, crank pulley that way that looks all pretty and then uh, get some of the stuff put on so I'm gonna go ahead and start tearing it down Got some of that cleaned up got everything tore off um, I went ahead and painted the crankshaft pulley um, I just used some black rust reformer I kind of cleaned it up a little bit just knocked the loose rust off um, I'm not too worried about that because eventually we have to get a new damper but um, we're gonna stick with that one for right now so what we got next is the ICT alternator relocation so basically this plate bolts on the alternator bolts to that which I don't have at the moment um, this side is a pulley that ends up going on this side over here and then we got some water pump spacers and the new water pump so everything lines up so we're gonna go ahead and get some of that put on All right, so we got the water pump bolted back on. Um, it was a little tricky because I had we used the spacers, obviously, which, as you can see, makes the bell, whatever you call this thing here, line up with the truck pulley when we're using the uh, Camaro water pump. So, uh, yeah, got all that tightened up. I did use some blue Loctite on these uh, bolts here. Um, did the water pump to spec, 11 pounds the first pass, 22 pounds the second pass. We should be good to go. We got to put our thermostat housing in, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that up a little bit before we do that. Um, this kit from ICT is really nice. Um, everything lined up perfectly. Um, I actually have had some of this mocked up before already, so I know it lines up. Um, but I was waiting for it to come to get my alternator. So um, all this stuff obviously looks really nice. It's made out of aluminum, billet aluminum and uh it's beautiful and it wasn't super expensive so um pulley looks good now we got some paint on that and it's not all rusty in the front there and uh water pump looks awesome 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is start trying to finish weld some of this stuff uh, in the engine bay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start <clears throat> finishing, finish welding this stuff over here uh, for these bars. And then uh, we're gonna drill some holes to finish mounting our fenders. And uh, I still gotta go get some bolts for those, but we're gonna do that. And then once we get all of that done, then we're gonna go ahead and take the fenders off. We're gonna cut some of this off the bottom here and uh because we don't need that anymore um clean it up a little bit weld a little bit more weld some of this stuff together in the front and uh then we'll be good to go so i'm gonna go ahead and start welding So I went ahead and got everything final welded. I uh, grinded most of the welds down. Everything looks pretty good. And uh, I, did, I wasn't too concerned about some spots, like the spots that are going to be hidden by the fender. And then I went ahead and scuffed everything else up and just gave everything a quick coat in uh, some self-etching primer. That way we don't rust for right now. And uh, now what we're going to go ahead is do is put everything back together and make sure it all fits. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is put the alternator in. Got the new one right there. And uh, just start putting it all back together. All right, so I'm filming on my phone now because, well, you know, I forgot the camera. But uh, so we got everything put back together on the front. Front end looks really good. Drive belt assembly is all installed everything's back on and uh, everything's fully welded primed up front end is basically ready to go the only thing we got to figure out is like down in this area but um 
I'm not going to worry about that right now because we still have a intercooler to mount down there and a transmission cooler and some piping and stuff like that. So I'm going to hold off until we get some of that in um, before we figure out that bottom part. But everything up here is all done. All we got to do now is start uh, filling it up. So uh, that'll be it for this video. And, uh, you know, if you like watching the Dotson build, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.